Hello guys, today we are going to create inner layers for the vortex simulation. Sorry for the delay, I was not feeling well. Before moving to Houdini, make sure to like share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I uploaded the hip file on Patreon, you can support me on Patreon. Let's dive into Houdini. Take a circle node. Change the orientation to the ZX plane. Increase the division size to 200. Set arc type to open arc. Currently, we don't have the point normals. To add normals on a curve, we need to use polyframe node. Turn off normal name, and in the tangent name write N. This will add normals. Now take a vector rotate node. I will give this OTL link in the description. We need to modify normal so keep it same. In the rotate horizontal, make the value around 218. This will simply rotate the normal direction in a horizontal 218 degrees. Now for the vertical, make the value to 345. Now take an attribute wrangle node and write this expression. We are creating a velocity attribute with the reference of normal then we are multiplying the velocity with the given value. Let's visualize our velocity. Add a transform node. In the Y rotation write negative at frame. Copy the node from the pyro source to the pyro solver and paste it here. In the pyro source select surface scatter from mode. Add velocity in the pyro source. In the volume rasterize add the velocity attribute increase the particle scale by 0.1. Go to the solver and decrease the voxel size to 0.015 and the substeps to 1. Go to the field tab and reduce the dissipation to 0.01. Go to Shape tab and turn of turbulence. Let's preview this. As you can see it is rotating in a circular motion but we need to lift off the smoke like the cone shape. How we can achieve this? As you can see the gas curve force node is using this curve null, but we don't need that one. Let's make another curve force using a straight line. Increase the length to 10. Add a null, I'm simply going to copy this null and paste it here. Let's update the SOP path and the gas curve force. As you can see now the smoke is going in a downward direction because we have changed the global scale to minus 1. Change it to 1. Increase the max influence radius to 2. Ignore this step. I mistakenly changed the follow force fall off. I need to change the shaping ramp. Increase the air resistance to 1.
go to the shaping tab and make the ramp like this. Increase the suction scale to 2. Make the orbit scale value minus 1. Decrease the follow scale to 0.5. Let's preview this. Currently smoke has no details. Let's add noise using gas turbulence. In the noise type select analytics simplex noise. Increase the scale and swirl size to 0.25. Also, increase the turbulence value to 5. Go to the binding tap and write the temperature in the density field. As you can see now we are getting details now. Now let's cache this sim to disk. We need to cache 200 frame for this one. Make a duplicate of these nodes. For this one, we just need to change some parameters inside Pyro Solver. Dive into the solver and decrease the follow scale to 0. Increase the suction scale to 3. Increasing this value will make the cone height smaller. Let's keep the orbit scale value to minus 2. You can see the difference between the previous layer and this one. Let's cache this also for 200 frames. Let's merge both the previous one and this one and see how this going to be looked. Now let's create a wisp layer. Take a circle node. Change the orientation to the ZX plane. Increase the division size to 50. Take a poly expand 2D node. In the output menu select offset surfaces. This will delete the center part of the circle. Increase the offset to 0.2 and turn off output inside. Now copy the three nodes, pyro source, attribute noise, and volume rasterize attribute, from the previous layer. In the pyro source select volume scatter from the mode method. Decrease the particle separation to 0.01. Remove the velocity we will create another network where we will define the velocity. Decrease the voxel size to 0.01 from volume rasterize. Take a torus node. Set the radius to 1 and 0.2 respectively. Increase the row to 50 and the column to 100. Take a blast node and delete the top part.
you can use clip node also. Take a poly extrude node. Click on the arrow icon near the group. On the left, you can see the edges selection, click on that. Now select the edges of the inner circle. After selecting press enter. Increase the distance value to 3. Increase the division to 16 and set the spine shape to curved. Now take a polyframe node. Turn off the normal name and in the tangent name write N. Take a wrangle node and write this expression. Take volume rasterize attribute. In the attributes add velocity. First, reduce the particle scale to 0.2 then reduce the voxel size to 0.01. Remove the density from the coverage attribute and turn on normalize by clamped coverage. Now merge both layers. Copy the pyro solver and cache node. Ignore the retime I will make a separate video on that things. Copy the line and curve null also. In the pyro solver increase the substeps to 2. Go to sourcing and decrease the density source scale to 1. Dive inside the solver and update the curve null path. Increase the follow scale to 1 and the suction scale to 5. Reduce the orbit scale to 0. Adjust the follow force falloff ramp like this. Go to gas turbulence and decrease the swirl size to 0.1. Make a duplicate of gas turbulence and in the second one increase the swirl size to 1. We are not able to see any smoke. Let figure it out. Go to attribute noise and visualize the density attribute. Set the remap minimum value to minus one. Adjust the ramp to something like this. Decrease the pulse duration to 0.5. In the volume rasterize node increase the particle scale to 1. Cool now we can see the source. Let's simulate this. Currently, it's not working as we expected. Go to the source and make the velocity source scale to 0. Now it's working. Before caching to disk we need to add some post fixing. Take a volume VOP node. Dive inside it. 
Take a vector to float node. This node will extract each individual axis. Connect it to position. Now take a fit range and connect it to second inputs of vector to float. Second input gives the value of Y axis. Increase the source max value to 2. Now take a ramp parameter node. In the ramp type select spline ramp. Now take a multiply node and connect it. In the second input connect the ramp parameter. Now adjust the ramp to something like this from the SOP network. Without this FOP we were getting hard edges and now it smoothly got blended. Now cache it to disk. The final tutorial I will release within 2 days. I was not feeling well that's why it got delayed. Thank you guys for your support. I will release the final hip file for all of you because from my side it got delayed. So it is a bonus for you. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Also, you can support me on Patreon.